Bye guys and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use ACL or access list to permit certain website traffic or deny certain website traffic. We'll be doing all that in our packet tracer virtual environment. Now, let's get to it. Now, the first thing that I, I, will, I did is to separate all the networks that I will have in my layout. So on the left hand side, we have the green block. That is our internal network. This is our company. This is home. So we're going to give this network a 192.168.1.0 network. It's a slash 24. And then we are going to have our router, which will also have our gateway. And this will be our gateway, right? It will take the first assignable address, which is 192.168.1.1, right? So I don't think I need to put it there. So the interface on the router is the dot one of this network. And on the other side, we have a network which will be 10.0.0.0. It's a slash eight. So it's a class A network. And then the first assignable address will go to the interface on the other side of our router. And then the same will happen here but we'll give it a dot two this time because the dot one is already taken over there. And then the other network will be the network at Facebook. This will be the network address, 102.0.0.0 is a slash 24, so class B. Now I will have a server, which will be a web server with a Facebook website. And then I'll also have an Instagram.com over here. So at the moment, the servers are empty. We have not loaded them with any websites or web pages. I will have two of them. And then I'll also have this laptop and we'll call it Meta PC, right? We'll just call it Meta PC for some reason. This is our, our company. This is home. This is our local network. I will name it network, right? Okay, let's say www.network www.networkrip.com so that's our local website here at google i will also have a dns server we are going to create dns entries for all these websites so that when you punch in the domain name it resolves the ip address to that server so i'm going to start assigning addresses to the server so okay i'm going to start assigning the site so the first address would be my my local pc right so pc1 will take a dot 10 so pc2 will take dot 10 sorry these are the ip addresses of each device so now i'm going to quickly go on and assign these ip addresses all right so let's go ahead the first pc i will go to the desktop right this is the desktop then i'm going to go to this ip config so we said the first pc will have that ip address so we're going to type it 192.168.1.10 subnet mask will auto populate we will leave it at that default gateway will be the same network as the as the ip address but it's the first ip address we did say the default gateway will be dot one so let's go back you can see it's the same right and now the dns server which is this one right we are going to give it an ip address of h.h.h.h .h 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 .h. that's what i choose that's what i choose that's what i'll go with so we will save this information so with the server again you do the same thing you go to the desktop right this is the IP address of the device, right? So we, we made it at dot two. It will still use the same gateway. It will also use the same DNS server, which is the DNS server here at Google. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at that. I will go quickly and do this, right? It's the same process. So I gave it its own DNS server as well. So it, it will go within itself to look for, you know, DNS resolution. 
let me just let me just do it quickly here so that we don't forget later so i'll say gateways so these are all the gateways that i will assign to r2 let me call this r2 okay i'll change the name later so it's going to be 8.0.0.1 that's for th for this over here and then for google the network okay let's leave it at that for now we'll update it later okay let me change this to r1 r2 right now for this google google uses a different ip address to the dns okay this is the ip address right it's a class b address so the default gateway to this address will be okay let's put it in here so again we go to the desktop this is the the other gateway okay so i'm just putting them here so that i remember all the gateways all these computers will be in the same network and that network is the facebook or network right put it over here no no sorry this is not the network this is a this is the network this is the network okay so this is the ip address to the pc and this is the ip address to facebook itself and this is the IP address to Instagram. I want to then start assigning IP addresses. So I'll come here and say, and just paste. Copy. And then I will come and paste it here. So this is the other default gateway. Now, the same thing will happen here. Copy this. And I didn't check if I, yeah, I didn't change this. Okay, right. I'm going to quickly do the physical connections. By the way, the router, see here, we are going to have more than three connections we're going to have a connection from here to there we're going to have one connection from the switch we're going to have another connection from that switch but we're going to also have another connection from the dns straight so this will need four ports at minimum and if you look here we only have three one two three ports right so we need to add more ports to our to our router which is the 2900 series router let me zoom in this is 2900 cisco 2900 router it has it does not have enough ports because we only use these two or oh, uh, no so it's three it's one two three right so we need more ports and we do that by switching the router off so we're going to switch it off over here and then we're going to look for a serial in interface card this one the serial port port serial high speed when when interface card right this is what we will so we just grab it and throw it in one of the slots over there right now we switch on the device we switch on the device so now there is enough ports here uh, switch it on well there we go now both devices are on so i can start connecting so now i'm just going to take the serial cable As you can see, it's using a, a what we call a dotted line. That's because these are the two devices of the same kind. It's a, it's a crossover cable, right? Because th th there should have been a switch in between, but since there's no switch, we use a crossover cable. 